Okay, guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is going to be a really short video because uh, I was not originally planning to do an unboxing uh, of this uh, locomotive. If you uh, watched one of the last videos where I visited uh, a uh, hobby shop in Memphis, I per and uh, I purchased a uh, Norfolk Southern GP60, and I said I wasn't going to review it till its running mate arrived. Well, it. It's running mate has arrived, and uh, I gotta tell you, I was not expecting this locomotive. Uh, it was not what was shown in the picture. However, uh, this actually means uh, I now have a prototypical uh, worthy consist now, uh, where I'm not running a engine that was uh, based off of a locomotive in its as delivered condition back in the uh, early, uh, blah, 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 blah. uh let's try that again uh late 80s uh, this uh this happens to be a uh, patched bnsf gp60 uh, as you can see it's actually weathered um I was not expecting to get this locomotive. Uh, what I was expecting to get was what was uh, shown in the photo, which was a Santa Fe GP60, much like you see here, only in its as-delivered condition. But I'm not complaining, because uh, this means uh, this means now that this GP60 and the NS GP60 are now of the uh, same era. So, uh, I'm actually quite happy with this engine. Uh, as you can see, uh, it is missing a few little things here. You notice that the uh, sunshade uh, is missing off this one side. It is on the other side. Uh, uh, but I wanted to show this side in particular. But uh, you notice the uh, sunshade's missing. And I believe there's also a wind deflector that goes right here. Uh, it's either that or a re rear view mirror. But... Um, but I believe it's actually a wind deflector goes here uh, on this uh, where you see these two little uh, vertical, vertically drilled holes right here. And of course your sunshade goes right up here. Um, and uh, also if we come to the back right here, uh, this act this uh, rear stanchion on this handrail, uh, I'll try to point to it right there, is actually broke so I'm going to have to glue that back together. Uh, now. In the description, uh, this was listed as a used locomotive, so I figured it wouldn't be perfect when I bought it. But boy, howdy, uh, I was not expecting to get a not only a uh, period, uh, 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 what am I trying to say, uh, a modern version of a GP60, which is the current BNSF. Of course, you notice it bears the number 196. Um, yeah, I was not expecting to get this, uh, especially weathered. I mean, I, I hope the guy that did this uh, put a coat of a uh, flat clear on this because I do not. I want to be extra careful uh, handling this if he didn't do that. Because this is some good weathering right here. Uh, uh, this actually looks really, really good. Um, yeah, I, like I said, I'm quite happy with this. Uh, I, you can probably tell I'm kind of a little bit, <laughs> a little bit shocked here uh, at what I've got. Uh, and of course, you notice it has ditch lights on the front. Uh, of course, if you uh, if you're familiar with these Santa Fe GP60s, they were originally not delivered, or they were originally delivered without uh, without ditch lights. Uh, they got them in the BNSF era, uh, I believe, just either just prior to the merger or just after. I don't really know when these engines got uh, got ditch lights, but uh, I would I would uh, happen. I would happen to say they got them just before the merger, like say maybe uh, between 93 and 95 uh, was when they would get them. But uh, anyway, just come alongside here, the patch. Uh, 
of course you got the big santa fe lettering right here and all that but we'll uh we'll explore that more when we uh when we review these alongside the uh, NS engine. Uh, so basically we're going to have a, a custom locomotive and a stock locomotive. Um, wow. Uh, like I said, was not expecting this. Um, yeah, th this is, this is going to be cool. Uh, we'll fix that uh, rear stanchion right there. And we'll get a sunshade and a wind deflector um, to put on this side here. But uh, other than that, we've got uh, we've got one heck of a locomotive here, folks. Uh, this is going to be some kind of review. So uh, that being said, uh, that'll take care of this video. We'll see you when we do do the review on these uh, two engines. Take care, all. Bye for now.